Well, good morning all you sugar loafers out there and welcome to the morning weather update from WSKITV.com and channel 17 on your Spectrum device. Sponsored by Village to Go right there in the base area. Order up your food, pick it up and have a nice enjoyable meal. Thursday, we're looking at mostly cloudy out there, 5 to 9 at the summit, 13 to 17 at the base with winds 14 to 20 miles an hour. So not a bad windy day, but it is a little chilly. Friday, we're looking at um, mostly cloudy, turning to possibly one inch of snow. So that'll be great. We're looking at summit temperatures around 14 to 18, base temperatures 24 to 28, and winds 15 to 25 miles an hour. On Saturday, partly sunny, 22 degrees at the base, 14 at the summit. On Sunday, 30, 13 at the base, negative 2 at the summit. And Monday, 17 at the base, 7 at the summit. So yes, it is going to be quite chilly out there on the hill. Your Birchwood Interior Trail Report for Thursday. We're looking at 86 trails out there, 9 lifts getting you there, and 51 of them groomed to near perfection. I know the groomers were out last night tackling the hill and did a wonderful job of getting those trails turned around. For Central Mountain, you're looking at Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote Road, Spur Line, Hay uh, Hayburner, King's Landing, Competition Hill, Narrow Gauge, Spillway, Sluice, Gondola Line, White Nitro, Wedge, Haywire, Candy Side, Lower Winter Way, Landings, Birches, and Snowbrook. On the east side, you're looking at Hallback, Flume, Widowmaker, Ramdown, Two Hall, Wiffletree, Slasher, Rollaway. On the west side, Scoot and Windrow, and don't forget the stomping grounds. Snowmaking last night, they're working on Lower Tote Road and Lower Gauge, and do not forget uphill traffic. Stick to the designated trails. Your 830 lifts around the lower base area is Snubber, Skidway, and Sawduster. A little bit higher up on the hill, you've got 830 at Super Quad, Skyline, and Double Runner East. That gets you to better terrain and higher up on the mountain. 9 o'clock is King Pine, more advanced terrain over there, and Wiffle Tree, a little lower, and that's a little easier mixed terrain. 9 o'clock as well is Timberline, that gets you to the top of the mountain, and all kinds of various trains, plus great views of the valley and all surrounding areas. One mile south of the access road is the Outdoor Center. Plenty of cross-country skiing available, snowshoeing, fat bike rentals, and skating. The rink is now open, and don't forget the Bull Moose Bakery and Cafe. Great sandwiches, snacks, and other things. Fat bike conditions on the narrow gauge pathway is looking really good. And if you're walking a dog, please don't forget to pick up the poop and be aware of silent fat bike riders. And you can find all this plus much, much more on WSKITV.com. Channel 17 on your Spectrum device, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram is where we hang out throughout the day. And if you're interested, go on to resorttvresearch.com slash survey, fill out a quick little survey, and it enters you into a drawing for a nice Carver bike. And we will see you around the mountain.